क्वेश्चन नंबर 101 सेलेक्ट द रॉन्ग मैच ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप इन ह्यूमन कोडोमिनेंस इट्स अ करेक्ट मैच दैट ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप इज कोडोमिनेंस बिकॉज़ द अलीज ए एज वेल एज बी बोथ इक्वली एक्सप्रेस देमसेल्व्स सो दिस इज द केस ऑफ कोडोमिनेंस सेकंड स्टार्च सिंथेसिस जीन ऑफ पी shows pleiotropy not the multiple allelism because multiple allelism means when a character is controlled by more than one allele for example blood group such as i o i a i b there are three alleles but this is not the case of multiple allelism the start synthesis gene of p this is a case of pleiotropy third one abo blood group in humans multiple allelism yes i just explained that we have three alleles for the human blood group abo that is io ia ib so this is the case of multiple allelism fourth white eye mutation in drosophila pleiotropy yes because it also leads to the depigmentation of other parts also so yes it is pleiotropy pleiotropy is when one gene can control the many phenotypic effect it is called the pleiotropy so when there is white eye mutation in drosophila it leads to depigmentation of other parts also so this is the case of pleiotropy so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to next question question number 102 an intermediate red kerneled wheat plant is crossed with the white kerneled wheat plant how many of the following is are true for above given cross so you have to perform the cross to solve this question red kerneled plant this is a case of polygenic inheritance because it is intermediate red kerneled it should be heterozygous with the white kernel small a small a small b small b now what will you obtain you will obtain capital a capital b capital a small b small a capital b small a small b and from here small a small b small a small b small a small b small a small b so this will you get in the f1 progeny now this will be the intermediate type these two will be the same type and this will be white so this is white this is intermediate red now the phenotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 right now solve the question 25% progeny will have deep red colored kernels no because for the deep red kernels the genotype should be capital a capital a capital b capital b and here you can see we have not obtained capital a capital a capital b capital b anywhere b kernel color or gene of wheat show quantitative inheritance yes it is polygenic inheritance or the quantitative inheritance because the quantity of alleles determine the phenotype c progenies have same phenotypic and genotypic ratio no phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 whereas genotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 so this is not correct d there will be no progeny with intermediate phenotype there will be a progeny with the intermediate phenotype so this is wrong so how many of them are correct that is only one statement b so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question Question number 103 Chromosomal theory of inheritance was proposed by Sutton and Bovary so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 Let's move to the next question Question number 104 Both Drosophila and garden pea have been widely used as experimental materials which of the given is the most appropriate reason for their usage as experimental material that they have short life span if they have short life cycle definitely it would be easier for us to use them as experimental material we can get our results in shorter period of duration otherwise if it takes too much time it will be difficult to obtain the results soon so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question Question number 105 in two different crosses A and B involving separate gene pairs recombination frequencies obtained were 5% and 35% respectively okay so there are two different crosses the cross A 
has 5% recombination frequency and in the cross B we have obtained the 35% recombination frequency. From the above given information, we cannot conclude that the distance between respective genes in cross A and B are 5 centimorgan and 35 centimorgan respectively. It is true. Why? Because the recombination frequency actually gives you the idea about the distance between the genes. So the genes which are involved in cross A, they have 5 centimorgan distance and the genes which are involved in the cross B, they have 35 centimorgan distance between them. It is correct. Second option, genes of cross A are more tightly linked than genes involved in cross B. Yes, if the distance between two genes is 5 centimorgan and in cross B the distance is 35 centimorgan, it means the genes in the cross A are more tightly linked. That's why the distance is less. And in the gene B, the distance is more. It means they are loose apart. They are far apart from each other. So, this is also correct. Third one, genes of cross B are present on separate non-homologous chromosomes. Thus, number of recombinants are high. No, it is not possible. Here, we cannot say that these are present on the non-homologous chromosomes because we get the recombinants after the crossing over and the crossing over takes place between the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. So, recombination frequency gives you the idea of the genes which are present on the homologous chromosomes, not on the non-homologous chromosomes. Fourth one, parental gene combinations are higher in cross A than cross B. Because the combination frequency is less, it means parental gene combinations is higher in case of A. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question.